The time dependence of the electric field associated with an optical pulse can be described as a slowly varying amplitude multiplied by the fast oscillating uh, function, namely the carrier. Carrier envelope phase is the phase difference between the phase of the carrier function with respect to the peak of the amplitude translated in a phase value. When the optical pulse propagates through a medium, in general due to chromatic dispersion, the phase velocity is different from the group velocity and this uh, produces a slip in the phase. For example, in the cavity of an oscillator, we have that uh, phase velocity is different from group velocity and because of uh, different kind of fluctuation, the the carrier envelope phase of emitted pulses is fluctuating. Carrier envelope phase of a light pulse is very important in all the phenomena in which the dependence is directly from the electric field and not on the amplitude of the pulse. So for very short pulses and for example in all the strong field experiment and in the production of isolated attosecond pulses. For these experiments, we need to stabilize the value of the carrier envelope phase for having a reproducible electric field. This can be achieved exploiting both active and passive carrier envelope phase stabilization methods. Active CEP stabilization methods require a feedback loop, while in passive stabilization methods, nonlinear phenomena are exploited. In order to understand how this works, we can study how nonlinear phenomena affect the phase of an optical pulse. For example, in the process of second harmonic generation, a pulse with the frequency omega and the carrier envelope phase phi is going through a second order nonlinear medium. And this generates a pulse which has a frequency doubled with respect to the incoming pulse and a phase which is doubled plus a constant factor. In cell phase modulation, the pulse goes through a third order nonlinear medium and uh, the frequency becomes broader, but the phase is not affected by this phenomenon. In optical parametric amplification, a pump and a signal go through a second order medium and both the frequency and the phase, uh, the carrier envelope phase of the signal are not affected by the process. In difference frequency generation, we have two pulses with frequency omega 1 and omega 2 and carrier envelope phase phi 1 and phi 2 and these go through a second order uh, nonlinear medium and in the output we get a pulse which has a frequency omega 1 minus omega 2 and a phase which is the difference between the two phases. So phi 1 minus phi 2 plus a constant factor. So in this scheme we can make the following observation. In cell phase modulation, which is important for example in hollow fiber compression technique for, for very short uh, pulses or in filamentation, we don't have any uh, effect on the carrier envelope phase due to the phenomena. Moreover, we can amplify pulses preserving the carrier envelope phase stability in optical parametric amplification. The third observation, which is the main, is that difference frequency generation can actually be used to stabilize the CEP. Indeed, if we make difference frequency generation with two pulses sharing the same carrier envelope phase, we end out with a pulse that has a constant carrier envelope phase. So fluctuations are cancelled out in the process. For exploiting difference frequency generation for a passive carrier envelope phase stabilization, we can be use two approaches. So we need two pulses sharing the same CEP. This can be done with interpulse approach, which means that we obtain the two pulses from the same source. So we need two replicas of the same pulse with the delay line for synchronizing the two replicas 
and we send both pulses to a nonlinear crystal, obtaining a pulse with constant carrier envelope phase. With this approach, we suffer of a jitter caused by the delay line, since the two pulses have to be synchronized in the crystal. Another possible approach is intrapulse difference frequency generation. In this case, one exploits a broadband pulse and difference frequency generation between the short wavelength tail and the long wavelength tail of the optical pulse. This way, the two portions of the spectrum share obviously the same carrier envelope phase and the output pulse has a constant carrier envelope phase. This approach is very robust since obviously there is no jitter induced by the delay line between the two pulses. Thank you.